spaceflight in the starfield. Did it all go wrong? And if so, where? So in this video, I want to talk about spaceflight. It's going to be an unstructured and unscripted video, mainly because I just really want to put out my thoughts on what's going on with this whole subject. There are a few people out there who do have some concerns and I'd like to discuss those. So the main concern about flight in the starfield and this seems to be a diminishing concern. There seem to be less people complaining about it over time. But nonetheless, the main concern is the fact that spaceships are restricted in the distance they can fly, or at least the speed at which they can fly. It effectively means that you won't be flying directly from one planet to another in a starfield. It doesn't work like Elite Dangerous or No Man's Sky. In short, the distance you travel in space is not simulated. Starfield is not a space sim, instead it is an RPG set in space. So first and foremost, that is an important distinction, a very important one, and we really need to talk about that before moving forward. If you're expecting the Starfield to be a space sim, then yes, understandably, you are going to be very disappointed with the nature of spaceflight within the game. If on the other hand, you're fully aware that this is a Bethesda RPG that is set in space, then, well, I suspect it's unlikely you're going to have too many concerns about the way space travel works. And there is a third part to this, and that is fast travel. Some people are unhappy with the nature of fast travel. It effectively means that once you've visited a location once, you can travel there without your spaceship. And some people feel that this option, that they don't have to choose, is a problem. Now, to put all of this into some type of context, Bethesda throughout their entire marketing period, that's the 2022 showcase, as well as the more recent 23 showcase, have effectively stated and shown that spaceships are a very, very important part of the game. And whilst it turns out that spaceships are indeed a major focus, if you so choose, they are, as it turns out, entirely optional for the most part. Now, when I first started playing Starfield, I've got to say I was a little bit surprised about this fact. I was expecting the spaceships to be more of a central focus and certainly far more mandatory. But all that said, as it turns out, I'm completely okay with the way spaceships work in Starfield as it is. When it comes to exploration and getting around and checking things out, my main focus is on planetary surfaces as I showed in my previous video. I think that part of the game is very strong and as I've mentioned before, I do feel the space flight section of Starfield is one of the weaker parts. So I'll go through some of the reasons why I feel it is a weaker part of the game, but I'll also explain to you why I still enjoy space flight and spaceships nonetheless. So firstly, it is unavoidably very weird. It does feel strange that you're contained within a limited area within space, especially if you're the type of person who has spent a lot of time in a game like Elite Dangerous or No Man's Sky. Playing in a confined area with your spaceship feels quite surreal and very restrictive to say the least. Must be completely fair here, some streamers, specifically Alana Pierce, has proven that you can fly to other planets if you spend a long enough time doing it. Seven hours in her case, when she arrived there, Pluto wasn't there in an interactable manner. So ultimately, it proves that there's not a restriction here in terms of the game engine when it comes to distance travel. It's just for some reason, it's not a feature that Bethesda have included. Effectively then, that means we're limited to encounters and space travel around the orbit of planets and other areas that we arrive at. Now, travelling between these different regions, these different zones, happens by a transition screen when you're moving from planet to planet, or by a smaller loading screen if you're moving between star systems. And yes, in my opinion, this does make the whole vibe, the whole field of space travel, feel very, very disjointed. But that said, I didn't go into Starfield expecting it to be a space sim anyway, so this is certainly something that I can live with. Now, travelling around within these areas, exploring them and interacting with whatever's present, this can be a very hit or miss. And this is precisely because some of those zones can be very empty on occasions, whereas other zones can have a whole bunch of different things going on. This all, by its very nature, can be very random. Here's a few different examples. Occasionally, I'll arrive around a planet and it will be literally empty. The only options here are to land on the planet or travel to another planet. By a similar note, other occasions, I'll arrive around the orbit of a planet and find myself embedded in a, a debris zone or amongst some asteroids. And often, there's nothing here other than that visual scenery. But on other occasions still, some of these areas can contain numerous lootable items. 
These may be values of quite some worth, other times something of not particular or special worth, but nonetheless, they're interesting to check out. The ones I really do enjoy, though, are the ship-to-ship -ship encounters. On some occasions, these can be simply plain or outright fun. One time, I arrived at a destination and encountered a ship broadcasting an Irish ditty, singing away and then finally asking me if I liked the song. Another occasion, a ship asked me if I'd like to go aboard and share a dinner with them. Whilst some people may find these types of things to be ridiculous or out of place, personally, I've really felt they add a lot of life to the game. On other occasions, I've had to help ships out in distress, and sometimes this can be simply giving them parts, other occasions boarding the ship and dealing with the hostiles that are on board. And on other occasions still, when I arrive at the destinations, I can find myself immediately embroiled in the ship-to-ship -ship combat. All of this to say that there is variety going on out there, and flying in space is rarely boring or uninteresting, there's always something happening. You haven't got these long extensive moments of 5 minutes or 10 minutes of space travel with nothing happening other than looking out the window. All of this, for me then, really does mark Starfield as a space RPG first and foremost. Whilst spaceflight might certainly be restrictive and limited in the type of destinations you can go to, or at least how you can journey to those destinations, personally, I feel that that space is far from empty and far from dull. There's always something going on. From this perspective then, I do feel that space flight, space interactions, as well as especially spaceships, are very important to the overall feel of the game. So for me, when it comes to Starfield, space flight is about the encounters that we have up in space, and it's not really about the travelling from A to B. Of course, having the option for both of these would be absolutely great, but a part of me feels that if we were able to seamlessly travel from A to B, it probably would dramatically change the game, and I don't know if that change would be for the better. Either way, do let me know what you feel about that in the comments section. Do you feel that we should be able to travel from A to B? Do you think it's largely irrelevant? In general, what do you think of spaceflight sections overall in Starfield? Now moving on to the nature of spaceships themselves. I've always wanted a spaceship to feel like home within a space game. And Starfield does do a pretty good job of achieving this. Although that said, some of that sensation really is limited by the fact, uh, well, that issue that you can't travel from A to B. It makes the spaceship feel more like a hub to me rather than like a home. But nonetheless, the ability to fully customise the appearance of your ship, both, at both um, aesthetically as well as in terms of its capabilities, is a fantastic addition. And I've started spending a whole bunch of time on improving and modifying my ships. I also feel that the interior of spaceships is absolutely gorgeous, and that's relevant of whether you're inside your own spaceship or the NPC spaceships, or indeed even some of the truly massive NPC capital ships. In fact, many of these places can feel rather distinct and quite individualistic depending on which ship you're in and how you actually approach them. I also like the fact that all the uh, crew members are aboard your ship and we can interact with them, even though, uh, yes, they do glitch out sometimes and their constantly uh, repetition uh, phrases, repetitive phases, can get a little bit irritating to say the least. Nonetheless, their presence goes a long way to make the ship feel full of life, rather than completely empty and soulless. Another thing I've grown to like is the ability to fit workbenches and other crafting stations and research stations to your ship. And of course, each of these need the accompanying hab to go along with them. Whether that's a research place or a uh, medical hab, it all really adds to the value and the personalization of my ship. And that's something I really do enjoy. Ultimately then, for me, spaceships and spaceflight in Starfield are a little bit of a two-edged sword. On the one hand, I really do like the way Bethesda have approached this, although, that said, I do miss the ability to travel from A to B. And, well, I was hoping perhaps they could do that in a way that just didn't take too much time. Either way though, ships do feel suitably useful and functional, they also feel very much like a home. But this does have a counterpoint. The sheer amount of time that I spend in the cities and on planetary surfaces exploring means that I'm outside the ship far more often than I'm inside the ship. And this means that I can go entire play sessions, multiple play sessions in fact, without ever once setting foot inside my ship as I explore the vast areas that Starfield offers. 
So yeah, these are two are very different counterpoints to each other. Part of me feels as though it makes Spaceflight and the surface gameplay feel like two separate games, yet the other part of me feels that this is simply down to the scope of the game and this, well, the fact that there's so much to do on planets as well as quite a bit to do up in space as well. I'm a little bit torn on that one. At any rate, do let me know what your thoughts and feelings about all of this are in the comments section below. How do you feel about space flight and how do you feel about spaceships in the Starfield? As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.